to this question is which is your favorite store Ross TJ Maxx Marshalls or Burlington which is your favorite which is your favorite store to shop at please let me know in the comments Again, I appreciate all the feedbacks. And now we are doing an eye look. Let's have some fun. Take your makeup palette out and let us play with some colors or some skin tone nude neutral colors. The point of pulling out our makeup off is just to have fun. Let us create something beautiful today because you, you, are beautiful I know it is the holiday season things are tough and rough with a lot of people out there because everybody think that they have to shop and give some big extravagant gifts Please don't put stress on yourself. Shop what you can afford. Give what you can afford. If you can give your time, give your time. If you can give money, give money. Whatever it is you can give, if it's a plate of food or a bag of groceries to someone, do that and feel good about it and don't feel guilty about cannot do more than that because what you are doing is plenty to somebody else who needs it. Don't stress yourself. The holidays is to spend with time and family have something to eat, have a good laugh, and talk and make memories. Don't stress yourself out. I will give you a little story about when I was growing up in Dominica, we didn't have Christmas the way everybody have Christmas now. We had, and that was back in the 70s, we had Christmas where People come from abroad overseas and the people who live in Dominica, they grow vegetables, food. So during that time of year, everybody try to go to the market and sell this food and take it and they'll buy fresh carpet, which now we call the vine, the lanolin in your floor and a nice fresh coat of paint on the house, either the inside or the outside. And that is Christmas for us. Everybody goes down to Rosal, buy the carpet, we call it carpet. It's the plastic vinyl you put on the floor. They buy their carpet, they come up with scrub the floor, clean it, the carpet is laid out, the new curtains go up, paint inside and outside. The house smell like paint back then. And I mean, we cook, we made sorrel drink, we cook, we, I mean, we did a lot of stuff, but we didn't go out of our way. I don't remember we going out of our way to create Christmas. This first color I just put down is a matte color.
there is a lot of noise outside so if you can hear it just keep with the program we're just gonna continue I am putting bronzer on and the story time back to this time of year where people are stressing we are all stressing trying to get the right gift the nice gift we spend too much so let's try to keep it at a minimum I know it's even harder for parents who have children whether you're single or you are married or you have a partner it is always had that time of year to get kids gifts that they want and sometimes we just cannot afford it so the best thing to do and it is something I used to do when my kids were smaller I used to sit them down and I used to explain to them I would explain to my children that this is how much mom makes and I'll tell them the honest amount this is how much mom makes this is how much the mortgage is or the rent at the time this is how much we have for food and light and this is how much we have left so the gift you want it is so much and I write down and I tell them this is how much it costs in order for me to get that I would have to have how I would have to save up so much every time and do it and I would educate them about it and most of the time yeah they wasn't too happy because it's children but they would figure and I'll tell them figure out something else you think mom and dad can afford but I always sat them down and show them this is what you want this is how much we have this is how much we have to put out this is our expenses this is this is that and break it down and we come to a middle okay I will have this and then according to the size of the money that we had to put up for the gift I would then go to them and say okay instead of mom give you one gift and dad give you one gift mom and dad gonna put their money together and get you this gift what do you think and we would do that that is what i would do with my children so parents with children sit with them we sometimes think kids don't know kids know kids understand some things not everything but they do know what's going on sit with them talk with them let them know situations so you're not stressed this time of year to get them something you cannot afford and then you have to pay for it over and over and over talk to your children let them understand what is going on and what you can do to help make their holiday season and Christmas better many times when I was growing up in Dominica we didn't have Christmas tree or anything like that. My uncle used to put out all the big Santa Claus, the inflatable ones, and that was fun. And he'd play Christmas music from December 1st to the first of the year. And I love that. That's how I end up loving Christmas so much. I loved it very, very much. So, and I remember one year, my brother, he sold all his, he planted his bananas and dashing and tanya and planted and he went to the market and he sold it all that year and he came back up with gifts for us. That was so much fun. Gifts. I mean, it might not sound like a lot to you, but to us who did not, we didn't have gifts back in the islands in in the 70s. So when he came back up, he came back up with three dolls. That's my brother. I got one with the legs. It was the little plastic dolls back in the day and the legs were crossed like this. So, I could dress it. It came with like ready-made painted clothes on it. So that was nice. Heaven and earth. Because we had never had gifts before. I mean, we cook, we eat, we dance, we sing, we go caroling, and that was fun. But to get gift, a gift, 
I mean, I remember that up till this day. I don't know if my brother remember, but I remember that. And that was beautiful. This is what I'm saying to parents out there. If you don't have the money, sit with your kids and talk to them about it. Because I have done that many, many, many times. Now my kids are all grown and they always ask me every year, what do you want for Christmas? I say nothing. I love you all. I know you'll love me. The love and the hugs and the concern and care that you'll have for me is plenty. They still give me a little something, but I always tell them they don't have to. But I've always explained to them when they were small and younger, the gifts that they wanted, some of them were way too much money. So dad and I would join in and give them one gift. And that was it. But we make sure that was explained to them. So on Christmas Day, they were not disappointed and you did not feel bad because you could not give them a gift. It is stressful this time of year. Please don't put extra expense on yourself. Explain to your children the gift. You, the love, cook a big pot of food. Everybody sit down and eat and laugh and give jokes, watch movies. But don't go through expenses. And while you're cooking and you're doing all of that, explain to them, if mom and dad had we would have given you everything on your list, but because we don't have so much, we're making a big pot of food. We're going to sit and eat and give jokes and laugh and enjoy it. And when we can afford it, we will be able to give it to you. So I hope this helps somebody out there this holiday season. I am back with the complete look today. Love the colors. These are the four colors that I use. Two mattes, two shimmers. And it is from the Smoke Session palette. The palette is cute. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the palette right here. I use this color, this color, this color, and this color. This is a shimmer, this is a matte, this is a matte, this is a shimmer. And this is what I have on my eyes. Again, today's question is, which is your favorite store? Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Burlington? Let me know in the comments. Today's encouraging word is from the section that say just do it. So we're just gonna do it. Our great business in life is not to see what lies dimly at a distance, but to do what lies clearly at hand. These words were said by Thomas Kiley. It says, our great business in life is not to see what lies dimly at a distance, but to do what lies clearly at hand. Those are the encouraging, inspirational words for today. I hope that helps someone or many people today. Always remember self. You are first. Love self plenty. If you love yourself plenty, you will be able to love somebody else or other people with the true love. Not the false or the fake or the pretend, but true love. Because when you know what true love is, you are then able to give that to others. 
take care of self take care of self it is important for us to remember to take care of self when we don't take care of self we cannot take care of others when we don't take care of self we become sick we become tired we become frustrated we become depressed we end up with anxiety we become a lot of things when we don't take care of self so again always remember self is first love self plenty take care of self and I simply make up a saying in this holiday time let us reach out and say a hi hello to somebody else because just a smile or hi hello might just be what they needed for today let us keep doing this and whatever we give out that's what we receive whatever we give out that's what we will receive and again I am saying to go live life be fabulous if you check you see how fast this time is going waste no time do it let's do it and do it now bye